Hey, yeah, what's up? This disciple Marshall O'Kearns Rain back up in this. Yeah, so anti Illuminati all day, anti telepathy all day. Yeah, you know what it is. Gotta throw that in there. But uh, yeah, this video is gonna be about childhood sexuality. Yeah, I gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do it. Childhood sexuality. You know what I'm saying? In in America, children. I'm I'm gonna talk about my generation and and older. You know what I'm saying? These young kids, I don't know what they do because I can't I can't speak on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have any kids around me. My my son that I have is not in my life. He's 14 years old. So but. So I don't have that generation, the gen younger generations in my life right now to really speak on it. All I could do is speak on what it had, what has been. And what has been from people that I've met, girlfriends that I've had, this as an adult, they would tell me about their sexuality as a child. The problem in America, in white America, which you don't realize is the sexuality that, that black people have had from the time they were children. Okay, maybe your families was good and together and they and y'all didn't have that culture between y'all for the like all around the country. Cause I know white people in the South got real crazy family, you know, and child sexuality going on. You know what I'm saying? The stuff they did as children with their families and other people probably. White people in the South, deep South, have a history of that. But for other white people, maybe Midwest, California, you know, all these other places, Minnesota, maybe you don't know, maybe that's strange to you. But what you know, in, in, in FBI, police, government, military, all y'all need to know, man, you, you don't know African sexuality. How can you speak on it? You can't really get involved in something you don't you can't speak on. You didn't experience. You can't you, and, and that you didn't not did and that you did not study fully to be able to really accurately say what something is. You know what I'm saying? Because many black people I've met, they were having sex as children. They were having sex as children. You know what I'm saying? So y'all quick to take that part and make that as a part of their adult sexuality. And Africans, particularly, I can only speak for Africans. We got childhood sexuality and we got adult sexuality. That means, and, and those are two different worlds. So you have a complete, total, different, complete, different sexuality with a person that they concerning their adult sexuality and their child sexuality. And you cannot determine who they are based on their child sexuality. But you a white boy from the suburbs. You ain't never, you ain't never went through that. You don't know what that is. You don't know what African sexuality is. And, and that's why I don't let no other race speak on it. I don't care, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Latinos, whites, any other race speak on something they did not experience. You ain't experienced that. How are you going to speak on it? How are you going to speak on black sexuality? You can't. You can't speak on it unless you lived it. Unless you lived in a household and grew up among Africans. You can't say you can't speak on no African sexuality and no FBI can't and nobody and no police cannot. You can't speak on it, bro. You can't speak on it, but I'm a, I'm gonna speak on it. I'm gonna tell you what most people go through. OK, most of the girlfriends I had, I've had a girlfriend that lost her virginity real young. I'm talking about before she was double digits, before she was 10, she lost her sexual her, her virginity. I had another girlfriend, a whole different person from a whole different place that's African, of African descent. She had, like, her uh, her stepbrother have sex with her. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and she explained it to me. Did she try to take him to jail? No. Did, the other, did the, my other girlfriend try to take the person to jail? They did not. See, in African community, in African sexuality... It's because there's a lot of sellout people. 
See, it's a lot of sellout mixture, mixture of people. White boy, that's with you. That's African. And they sitting up talking about who's a pedophile and who's this and that. But they're not telling you how Africans have child, a strong sex, strong sexual history as children. They're not telling you that. These sellouts are not telling you that. They are not telling you how African children have so many sex stories, so much sex history. That's what they're not telling you, white boy. Why they trying to point you out, point people out, and trying to describe people as a, as a sex predator or this or that. What they're leaving out is how often African Americans have sexual history as children. They're not telling you that. They're not telling you that part. It's more common than not common. I'm going to say that again. It's more common than not common. And this is from every, this is from people I've met along the way from different regions of the country, different regions of the world. Yeah. So, man, for people that would sit up and act like it's some strange thing for children to have sexuality, children experiment sexually. That's what they do. Whether it's from stuff that they learned on TV, whether it's from stuff that they've seen older people do, like walking down the street, whether it's from something that they heard in the music, Children will experiment sexually. It's just what it is. It's nothing strange about it. It's nothing abs uh, weird about it. If children start coming into puberty, what do you think they're going to try to do? That makes me wonder if some of y'all were raised by wolves. Because when I was a kid, kids, we call kids fast, meaning progressive. When they were like, trying to kiss they thought it was it was cute kids thought it was cute to kiss each other play around each other and they actually had childhood games the childhood game the kids played in the black community was hide and go get it see white people y'all know hide and go seek we play hide and go seek too but we also play hide and go get it i'm i'm, I'm keeping it a hundred and when kids play, the parents didn't make them play it. They didn't learn it on TV. This was the mind of children on their own. And so some of y'all act like morons and act like children didn't think on their own. Like they were animals. Like they were the same way you left them when you left. Like an animal. Children, as soon as you leave the room, they start talking about stuff you don't even know they're talking about. That part. On their own. Nobody making them do nothing. And so. So in the African American. African American community. We had hide and go get it. We play hide and seek like I said. But we also play hide and go get it. And all the boys. All the girls would hide. And the boys would find. Whoever they. The girls they found. They get to have sex with them. And the girl was willing. It wasn't like rape. Why would <laughs> come on? Yeah, why would she be starting to do it in the first place? Why would she do it in the first place? That part, if she wasn't willing to do it, you know what I'm saying? So, so for all you people that act like y'all sit back, man, in the black community, man, y'all some fake people, man. Y'all gonna sit back and act like y'all didn't have no sexuality as kids? Y'all some frauds, man. Y'all some straight frauds that act like y'all had no sexuality as kids, even with your family. Because that's the first, it isn't because you're sick, it's because that's the first people that you have access to. You can't go drive, you can't go hang out across town as a kid. You can't go hang out with Jenny, who you like it, as a kid, that lives on the east side of town. How are you going to do that at seven, eight, nine years old? That part, bro. I mean, it's just common sense stuff. So kids experiment to th with those who are around them. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes this, the, 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 the experiment is, is you know, uh, brutal, harsh, and everything in between. But at the end of the day, it's still people that are under the age of 18. Therefore, that's children, and they have children brains. See, what y'all try to do is put an adult brain, the brain that they have now, 
the brain that the people that you're playing around and accusing, you try to take their mind that they have now and place it in the things that they did as children. Like that's the same person. They like children because they had a check just because they had a child sexual history. So now you want to say they was a pedophile or this or that because they had a child sexual history. Children will experiment. So you're trying to place the way that you're trying to say what they did as children means what they desire now. Oh, they had sex with children then as they, then they must like children now. You're a moron. They were children, too. You forgot about that part. You forgot that that was a child as well. Yeah, you forgot about that part. That's the most important part. Because children will be, always do stuff. That's the most important part. That they both were under the age of 18. That's the most important part. That's real. So I don't let nobody play with me like that. Because I know the difference between child sexuality and adult sexuality. And if you come from the African American community where um, leadership was, uh, it ain't their fault. They were just laxed. You know what I'm saying? Kids got into stuff. Kids did stuff. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you try to act like you don't understand that and you're not and, and, and you and you, something's wrong with probably wrong with you. I'm just saying because most kids that were advanced and, and progressive, they experiment, experimented among themselves. Yeah, it ain't nothing strange about it. You ain't the same person you was, especially when you can look at the people that you experimented with and y'all grew up together. Y'all now have a relationship that is not based on sex. Y'all now interact with each other, ain't got nothing to do with sex. That's how you knew, that's how you can say those people grew up and those people progressed. And now you can definitely say there's a difference between who they are as an adult and as a child. Therefore, it's safe to say their sexuality is two different, di different dynamics or entities as well. Or energies as well. Or in desires as well. You feel me? So it's like, man, don't let nobody play with you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll tell you, a lot of these pretty women would tell you that they went through stuff as kids. They went, they, and it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily all bad. Like, no one wants to say that. It wasn't all bad. I mean, this, this is where we get all these movies from. When, when people in high school and middle, in middle school, kissing girls and playing around girls, this is where, this is, it comes from real life. You know what I'm saying? And pretty people go through it. Ugly people, I hate to say it, I'm going to say it this way. Less attractive people, you probably don't have a strong sex history. So if I look in your face and you're not attractive, it's not hard for me to understand that you can't relate. You can't relate because you are not an attractive person. No one looked at you at a young age and thought you were very attractive. And therefore, you, you attracted people your age as children. You didn't do that. You didn't because you don't look like that. You don't look the part, buddy. Yeah. And especially inadequate little people, little strawny people. You grow up and now you want to save the world from 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 people that you think are sexual deviants. You know, you you never you you're a person that never fit, did anything sexually because you were so scrawny little worm. OK, let's keep it 100. And you little women, you was little nerds. Your, your glasses were bigger than your head. <laughs> yeah, glasses was bigger than your head. All you little girls, you had a, you had big glasses on your face and nobody found you attractive. So it's easy for you to sit back with this pious mentality like, well, I didn't have any experiences like that because you was ugly. It's a common sense thing. Kids in, in kids like attractive people, like attractive children. <laughs> it makes sense. But what I'm not going to let you do is take a person's sexuality and then say, well, they did all this as a kid. Oh, they must like kids. You are a moron. They were children. They too. They were children, too. 
And then, especially when you see them to go on to have a wife, kids, and things like that, I'm, I don't let you play with people like that. If you want to know who I witch hunt, I witch hunt bigoting people that sit back and try to act like people are sexual deviants. And, you, and, and they don't look at all the components of everything. You're just looking at what you heard in certain things and you're not looking at all the components. You don't lose. You don't use human science. You don't use child science, if you will, about children and what they do. You don't look at none of that. You can't be looking at it because the first thing you're going to find out with children and sexuality is that they experiment. Ain't no telling what they're doing now. And ain't no telling who they're doing it with now. Evil as times is, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling, bro. So for, I would never let anybody sit up and try to act like, oh, this person did this as a child. Oh, they must like children. That person had a child brain in that situation. So you, what you're doing is trying to put an adult brain in that situation and make them look like an adult when they was a child themselves. And they was having that experience as a child. You're trying to make them look like an adult in that situation. So I'm, not, I'm never going to let anybody do that to anybody. If you was a child in that situation and they was a child in that situation. And if that happened, then you then you both were children and you both were experimenting. And nobody can act like you're a fully grown man doing that same thing. You're not. You're not a fully grown woman doing the same thing sexually that you did with children because you're you are not which you are among adults now so what i would be like saying oh because you was with a 16 year old girl when you was a kid that you like 16 year old girls you're gonna look at me like i'm crazy that don't make sense and so long as they are in the bracket of children under 18 and they're not toddlers they're going to experiment that's just the bottom line it's nothing you can do about it. It's just these inadequate people. And I hate, I have to say this and don't get offended white people, but white men are not endowed with, they don't have endowed penises on an average basis. Okay. You can't relate to the sexuality that Africans have. And endowment has a lot to do with it. Even the women, women, white women, you don't get tits until you're like what? Like almost a grown adult. When you got black girls that got breasts and 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 butt before they're even what? 16. So you cannot relate to a young man, black, of being attracted to a young woman with a booty and tits because you never had that you you you're not that that's for the white boy that's for the white cop all the girls you was around look like you almost when there was a distinguished difference between african girls and african boys they didn't blend in all the same see white people y'all almost look same the same you got to look a little close like is that a girl no nah, it's a boy is that a boy? No, nah, that's a girl. Not in our community. Not in our community. You can see a girl a, a block away. And, and that's how stuff started. So what you have to be, that being said, what you have to understand is that children were then prepped by older children how to get girls, how to talk to girls. See, white people, and y'all ain't do that. Man, y'all ain't had no older white. Like, come on, man. You it hit and miss. It might have happened. But y'all didn't have no like no cool brothers and cousins and things and fam and, 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 and people from school that make that 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 told you how to talk to girls and pressured you to talk to girls and even have sex with girls. Y'all didn't come from that, man. That's why even all you black people that sitting back like y'all don't understand child sexuality, you are a fraud. You are lying. That's why God is finna be finna get ready to judge everybody's sexuality. Everything y'all did as children, because y'all want to act like stuff is so strange in your neighborhood. 
We're going to call. We, all your stuff is about to be pulled out. You can't do just anything you want to do, how you want to do it. You want to try to pull somebody else's sexuality out? Yours is going to be pulled out. And what everybody's going to find out is that you're just like the people that you're accusing. You just like them. You had sex. You did stuff that you was going to take to the grave, but God pulled it out. God is going to pull it out because you because you judge And the Bible says, judge not lest you be judged first. You can't go around playing no games with people. They're going to pull your guys going to pull out all your sexuality now. All this country. I mean, everything you did as a kid is going to start coming to your mind. Mark my words. It's going to start coming to people's minds. Everything they did as children. Everything because you act like you like that, like you was just like some angel that did nothing. And you, and you who you think you're fooling? I, you know how I know? Because you're human. That's how I know. I don't got to be in your house. I don't got to be around you 24-7. You're human. I know you got some stuff that you did when you was kids. I know you do. For everyday average people, there are some people, like I said, that were scrawny and ugly. We definitely are not talking about you right now. We're talking about healthy, beautiful people. They have experiences. As children, yes, it's not abnormal. It's not abnormal. It's abnormal for you because you're ugly. It's abnormal for you because your glasses were bigger than your face. You look like you was going swimming. Yeah. You didn't even know you had a penis until you were like 18, 19. And it's still small. I'm just saying. Yeah. You got to understand all these things play a role, man. All these things play a role. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you know, for so for inadequate people, when I look at you and you're like kind of ugly, and you kind of look like you've been that way for a long time, I'm not going to let you speak on child sexuality. I'm just not. I'm going to talk to somebody who is attractive because I know that you understand that you attracted people at a young age. I know you understand it. Especially in America. Who you fooling, man? All this sexuality that's been on TV since the 80s and 90s? And all of a sudden, now you are the purest country in the world. You ain't got no child sexuality yourself. And you was watching all that booty shaking in the 80s and 90s. You were listening to all those sexually suggestive songs. And all of a sudden, you don't know nothing about child sexuality. Man, who you, you ain't fooling nobody. You a fraud. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling you out. And like I said, my videos is about exposing things for what they are. As opposed to what people try to make them to be. You ain't fooling me. Because you're human. And eventually, you're going to experiment sexually. If you can't control yourself sexually as an adult, half of y'all cannot control yourself. How are you going to control, say you controlled yourself all your childhood? You ain't do nothing. But you're a human being. Because people quick to say, yeah, every man got to have sex. You kind of almost got to say every boy do too. I'm just saying, you kind on the average, you almost got to say that. Because everybody you look at, that's in the, that, that I don't care what, what you think in your mind, the fantasy world, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about real people on earth with real history, not aliens. The people that you know, all of them going to tell you, yes, I did this as a child. I had this experience as a child, this or that. Then what does that mean? That means we all do did something as a child. That's what it means. And you want to try to hide your part. <laughs> you want to try to hide what you did. Man, you can't play me, man. I'm telling you, man, when you understand being a human, it sets you free because you understand they all like me, but they're fake. You want to hide everything you did like you a perfect nun. Like you a nun. You ain't no nun. You was having anal sex before you were 18. Acting like you a nun. Stop playing. Stop playing, man. You know what I'm saying? That's for these pious females out here. You know what I'm saying? 
You act like you like, like oh oh that person's to do this and do that. You walk around with your children like you some nun. Man, you was having anal sex before you were eighteen. Stop playing. Who you think you fooling? Yeah, man, stop playing with me, man. That's what I'm saying. So I don't let y'all y'all can play all the little weirdo police games, but I look the police right in the face and tell them like this, bro. Look. Some things you just won't understand, and it's better off that you don't know. It's better off that you don't know because you're going to be disappointed in your humanity. If you grew up like in some science lab and you were just born to be a cop, you were just born to be the FBI, and they just born, made the, the, the lab raised you, and you was in a little glass bubble in water, and you just got raised up, I'm, I'm sorry that that was your experience. But you're going to be disappointed with the rest of us because we all have sexual child stories. I'm sorry. You're going to be disappointed. Famous, non-famous, all of that. Religious, non-religious, all of that. Spiritual, non-spiritual, all of that. Yeah, you, maybe they raised you police and FBI and CIA. Maybe they raised y'all in labs. Like I said, with glass containers that you can bust through. We should have bust you out there and let the water come out and let you come out. So you wouldn't be trying to investigate humans as if they were perfect. Like, really? Like they were aliens? You running around here like the man in black. <laughs> and you got the community on that. And they can't, you know why they ain't saying that? Because they know their own childhood sex stories. And it wasn't all bad. How all these people try to act like they was abused and it was all bad. Stop fronting and stop playing. You a fraud. Some of it you enjoyed. Okay? That's reality.